The U.S. Navy has detailed its plans on how it's going to dismantle the USS Guardian and remove it from the Tubataha Reef. Gretchen Malala tells us criticism of the plan by the son of American business magnate Donald Trump has led to a flood of reactions from Filipino netizens. The U.S. Navy has been studying how to remove the grounded USS Guardian from Tubataha Reef for the past two weeks. Aboard the P-3C Orion, the U.S. Navy is showing to the media the situation of the U.S. Escarchion. The ship is badly damaged but is in a very stable condition. And to minimize the damage on the coral reefs, a decision was made to dismantle the ship. The U.S. Navy says the ship would not be able to withstand the towing and lifting off ship cranes. The best option to uh, dismantle the ship into several pieces to enable the pieces to be lifted off more safely by the crane ships that will be operating out there, as well as, again, the, our goal to minimize any further damage to the reef. Their plan, first is to put up support towers around the ship, then dismantle the superstructures. These are the parts of the ship emerging from the deck like smokestacks. Every structure removed will be lifted by a ship crane and transferred to a barge. Next is the dismantling of the mast and bridge or control room. The deck or the whole first floor will then be removed and the engine. The hull or body of the ship will then be dismantled. Sa mga pag-aaral po ng mga dalubhasa sa mga salvage operations, they estimate na three times more damage is actually caused by the attempt to salvage the vessel. The U.S. Navy's plan received from some unexpected criticisms from son of real estate mogul Donald Trump. On Twitter, businessman Donald Trump Jr. called the scrapping of the $277 million ship stupid arguing it is worth more than the damage it caused to the reef. These prompted a flood of replies from Pinoy netizens. TV host Bianca Gonzalez, who called out Trump for belittling what she calls the country's national treasure. While Katy Castro tweeted that you can build another Navy ship, but certainly not another Tubataha reef. Celebrity tourist guide Carlos Seldran believes the U.S. should spend more than $277 million to rehabilitate the reef. Officials meantime dismissed Trump's remarks. Kasi sa kanya mahalaga yung pera at yung ano at mahalaga sa atin yung mga yung fruits ng labors of more than a decade. The salvage operation is expected to start on February 4. Gretchen Malalad, ABS-CBN News, Palawan.